what's up everyone how are you all doing today welcome to episode three of our let's play series of grounded um last episode was a little short a little wafty near the end i must say i was flagging a bit um and i've logged on today and realized when i was up in this lab here i didn't um i didn't have much of a chat with the robot dude because i was so dehydrated so i'm gonna come back up here and just check there's nothing but that I missed out doing. Let's have a little look around, check there's nothing we missed. Went down there. Okay, let's have a chat with old Burgle. Always happy to see a repeat customer. What would you like to know ab about? A question about me? I'm flattered. I am the last existing burger lad, Mark IV, created by... He's a burger lad. Hey. Since his disappearance, I have been continuing his research and experiments. I am a f -f -f fully functional research assistant. I can answer science questions as well as assign tasks for you to complete. I am the last existing okay. burger lad, Mark IV. I am a f -f -f fully functional research assistant. I can answer s cooking, flipping, grilling. <laughs> Everyone's a cook -a critic Cool, so we can make us some good burgers. Consuming raw or undercooked meats may increase your risk of foodborne illness, especially if you have certain medical conditions. Medium rare. Medium if you must. But if you request well done, I will show you the truth behind my grilling function. You look like you Science questions. As acting science manager, I am happy to answer your cook -a questions. It is definitely not cooked science. Yes, very good, very good. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot give you a more helpful explanation. Its true nature eluded even to Dr. Tully. What I can say is that we observed it to be a byproduct of the experiment. So every time you experiment, you get some, some raw science. Anything more than that would be pure conjecture. As acting science manager, I am happy to answer your cuckoo questions. Ah. That is one of Dr. Tully's most ingenious inventions. The scanner of a bracelet, a.k.a. <laughs> Scabby. I like it. A portable device which can monitor your vital signs by tapping directly into your bloodstream. Oh, that's a bit freaky. Quite the elegant design, don't you agree? That's sucking vampire manager, robots. I am happy to answer your cuckoo questions. You look like you still have nope. questions. Is there anything else right, I can any do work. With? Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. Cool. So we've got some missions. Let's set that one. Hunter, come some lawn mites. Acid gland. Don't know where I can get that from. What else did he have? I'll trade you raw science. If you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy to... to, to Upgrade for the scabby. Multi story bases. Stairs. Floor. 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 Okay, um, it wants a thousand. Got a 640. I think I saw some pink float stuff here. 500. Yeah. Gimme, gimme. Always happy to see a repeat customer if you have any extra. There we go. Unlock stairs and floor. Yes. Brilliant. We can make a floor now. Alright, whilst we're here, we really not have a quick little explore about. Because we had to rush out there last time. Oh, there's some signs over there. Science. Not much left on this torch. Let's quickly. What's that? Those ants look a lot bigger than normal ants. They sound angry. That's angry music. I'll um, come back here another day, I think. There's more science down there. 
gonna get eaten by giant ants, so yeah. Another day. That's cool. We've learned how to make floors now. So that means we can actually have um a proper go at building a base. Just like shimmy on out of here. Let's check what's in this room. Oh, that's where we got the science from Berg over there. Analyzer. Can only analyze the weevil nose. What can we get for that? A gas mask. That's pretty cool. Cool, so everything apart from the giant ants, we're done down here now. We're still pretty good for hydration of food. Cool. So we can get back to base and get on it. Here we are, the wonky walled base. So, pretty full. So, something that I did notice off camera was if I click on this resources tab, I can um, I can have a look to see what these I have and haven't analysed. Weed stem from dandelion. I'm going to keep an eye out for dandelion. Not analyzed grass plank. Obviously not analyzed in those acorn bits that I've just got them. Grass chunk. Thistle needle. Want to go up from a thistle plant. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Now like bug bits. So we grab um we grab one of these grass planks. Just before we start building, see so if there's anything else we can unlock. Just want to go building a whole load of stuff and then realise that there's other things we could have built in its place. This way. And keep our eye out for somewhere cool to build the new base. Possibly. I've got miles away here. There we go. Let's analyze that. Two charges left. Triangle wall, okay. Acorn top. Sap catcher and smoothie station. Oh, very posh. Use the last charge on the acorn shell. Oh, cool. Some armor. Bigger storage chest. Nice. That's pretty cool. Right, so let's chuck that on the floor. Give up somewhere nice. So if this is a beginning where we come out baseball. Let's grab some of these mushrooms. So there. Poor ant stuck in the terrain there. Look at that. Got some really nice flat ground here. Like a little view that way. The giant ball and the mushroom. Oak tree on our back. This looks like it could be a nice place for a base. Base place. I'll be back in a bit when I've got something to show you guys. Morning. Let's finish getting our walls. Yeah, let's finish getting our walls sorted. See what God did get our door done.
grab some of this woven fibre. This thing can need that to make some clothes. Get some gear in. Workbench gear. Okay, so clover hood. I'm going to start from top eye patch. Gives a tiny bit of defence. This is plus one to attack. For my hat. Fuzz. Grub hardly. I haven't got grubs yet. That's quite tough for the defence. Don't need that yet. Thin damp leg armour. Interesting. You can leave that really easy. Just clover leaves and fibre. Clover leaves and fibre for the poncho. Defence. Shin guards, clover leaf fibre sprigs. Acorn shells, might fuzz, woven fibre. That's a bit better, isn't it? The wooden ones. Need to go harvesting a lot of acorn shells. Before that, let's let's make ourselves some um some of the plant ones. So let's see, that's enough. Let's so get the hood done. Keep me safe. Mm, safe I'll need more clover leaves. Let's go get some more clover leaves. Yeah, workbench, that's what I was doing. Workbench, poncho, crafting equip. Shin guards need two sprigs. Shin guards, crafting equip. A little less squishy now. There we go. Cool. Grass ninja. Okay, so acorny bits, acorny bits. We need grubs to get the grub hiding stuff for making stuff. Analyze acid gland. Lawn might complete mark of a great oak beacon. Right, so let's go harvest some more acorns. But before that, can we build the shovel yet? Two sprigs and we can build the shovel. I think it says the shovel is used to dig up grubs. I think I've seen grubs crawling about in the ground. Inventory. Let's get the shovel up there. What have I got on me? Let's dump some of the stuff I got on me. So I've got some space. Dump on that. That's actually an item, isn't it? So let's leave out there. That's food, that's food. Just leave that weevil nose. Don't need that one acorn shell, we're going to get more. Okay, let's go on a little wander. Back up to the oak tree, smash some acorns. I think we have to make sure we definitely go via Mr. Puncho. There we go. So let's get bashing tool out. Are the 
make on boots go. Definitely playing hard to get. Ah. Yeah, I got you that time. Look at my shells I forgot. Okay. One more. I think that's going to be us. Nicely acorned up. Let's have a look. Seven shells. Six tops. If seven shells is enough, actually, it's probably not gonna make as much of that armor. Oh, and that meat. Oh, I've got some meat. I'm gonna figure out how to make a fire, then, aren't I? That one's got away. Okay, so we've got acorns. That was definitely something we needed. Bash that big bit. Yeah, look at that. Cool, that's pretty good. So we need to go that way. Oh look, there's the other research tent. Right by a spider. Hmm. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. See, he's walking away. Dominant practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division. Log 87.12.18. Uh, uh, 87.12. Slippers. <laughs> I can make some slippers. Oh no. Run, 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 run. I'm the wrong side of this wall, bro. Let's backtrack. Okay, hopefully that's all we need. Roast and spit. Yes. I'll stick that near our campfire, give it a nice bit of warmth. There we go. Cook. Nat. Weevil. Yeah, why not cook that as well? I certainly don't want to make slippers out of it just yet. So, this honeydew I've got in number 8, apparently it's hydration. Yeah. Oh, that's only, it's honeydew, surely that should be yummy. So that's top me up. Let's see if we can dump off some more bits and bobs. What did we want? Well, the acorn, we wanted to craft some acorn armor, didn't we? Workbench gear. So we need the mite fuzz. Not so woven fiber. Ok. 
Okay, so we can make either the mask or the leg plates. Let's go for the mask. It's got a bit of a, a Zelda Majora's Mask type thing going on. Keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. Hey, I like it. Why is there a spanner on that? Huh. Oh. There's a plank missing from that floor. There we go. So, somewhere, cool, 10 to 7. So, we got a lean to or a spawn point. We've got a cooking station. Let's put this rock away. There we go. Got a workbench. A little small storage box. Where else can we get it going quick? Oh, my glue. Okay, so that'll be maintenance, I'd imagine. I can still make them as well. I've got enough materials for that. Oh, cool. I just need four, five, and some more clove leaves. Have we got more clove leaves? Got six more clove leaves. Here we go. Uh, that craft materials, five, I'll make more of that. Don't know how much we need, but let's just do it all. Workbench gear. A corn chest play. I feel a little less squishy now. Uh, is that all three of them? No, I haven't got the. I have got the leg guards. Yeah, here we go. Acorn boy. Cool. Our meat's cooked. But we need to eat it just yet. So, let's uh, put the armor we don't need just yet in there. Get this stuff up here nice and neat and tidy. It's food, it's food. Build another storage container now, but for now, we're all good. And it's just come along to 8 o'clock, brilliant. So, one thing I'm going to do before I um, call it quits is I've got those missions up in the top left corner there. I'm curious as to know whether that's whether they actually expire after a day because Burglar says it's free a day that he gives you. I'm just wondering whether they actually expire. So, let's go for a little sleep. We make See what day. happens in the morning, whether we've still got them or not. Oh, well, we're still there. Let's just check quests. Yeah, yeah, we've still got them. Cool. So, that'll be our mission today, I think. Get our base just a little bit more established. Although we're pretty good for now. We've got our, we've got our basic sorted. Our, our bed, our cooking, and our workbench, and a little bit of storage. So we need a lot for storage down. Um, I've got some tools that are now damaged, so we've got to figure out how to repair them. Pretty sure it says we need some quartzite, so we've got to go and find the quartzite. Pretty sure I know where that is. I saw some um, some blocks that we needed to bash when we went down and chopped the um, the red mites off the cable. Like the cable on one of the lasers, and then we went down into a little bit of the cave at the bottom of there. I'm pretty sure there's some big, big quartz looking blocks, so we get to go and have a look at them. Um, but for now, that's it. Pete's looking mean with his um with his Majora's Mask style oak armor, which is pretty cool. We've got a good upgrade from the cloth, so tomorrow we can we can be safer. We can explore a little bit more. I know we're a little bit tougher with our armor, a little bit more prepared generally, you know, and maybe get a roof on. Although quite at the moment, I'm liking having a roof off. It's it's a nice view, lots of nice light. Uh, we've got a door, which is the main thing some windows so we're safe from intruders so that's it um wrapping it up actually doing it this time hope you enjoyed that one guys uh leave us a like and subscribe if you did and stay tuned for the next one 
Take care. Bye-bye.